Hello and welcome to a very late edition of Wednesday Night Only Figs. <laughs> I am your host, Mr. Modern Toy Fair, and I am joined by the man Modern Toy Fair has full custody over, the man Optimus Prime popped and he still can't stop, the Twilight Knight, Nate. And noticeably missing is Jamar, who no call no showed. Uh, so hopefully he's alive somewhere. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Which the irony is I was not going to be here. Yeah, ironically, so, yeah, they all started with Nate being like, hey, I can't do it tonight. And then Jamar was like, oh, that's fine. We'll do it. And and here we are. Uh, yep. uh, to answer the question, no, it's not me doing the uwu. I tried, and I could not get a good one. That is 100% Jamar. I asked Jamar to do it, and he sent me five different versions that I have in the drive of him doing it in a, in that deep voice and also him doing it in a very, like, squeaky anime girl voice. So at some point, I'll have to uh, leak those onto the internet somehow. <laughs> Maybe just slip one in now and again, you know, yeah. just for just to keep everybody on their toes. That's what I'll do. Once we like hit the point where we can like have those sound alerts and stuff, I'll have it so people can like pay for points or whatever to to make Jamar go ooh woo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it looks weird having Nate on the right. You're not wrong. It is. It is very strange. It's been a while since it's been just the. I think just the two of us. So which way are you? I'm. Yeah. I, I am. For well, for you this way, I believe you're you're right. Where hand. my hand is? Yes, your right hand. Yeah. So right now, high so five. I'm, there we go. I, am I yes. doing it now? Am yeah, I looking we're, at we're you? Staring eye to eye. Just oh. <laughs> oh man. Uh, as punishment, you next can't week, buy this entertainment. Like you really can't, and and technically you can't because you know no one can subscribe to our our channel and pay us here on Twitch. No, uh, and also you you shouldn't. Uh, no, I think they. I think they should. I I, I disagree with that. <laughs> uh, as punishment, you should put Jamar on the bomb next week. I would, but I feel like that could be misconstrued as a, a hate crime. So I think I'm gonna not do that. I don't know. I've threatened to demote him a few times, and he's never. He's he's like, do it. I fucking dare you. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to get canceled. I'm good. <laughs> but we're not here to get canceled or have no. hate crimes. We are here to show off. Our weekly purchases. Um, and yeah. you know what? Just for the shits and giggles, we'll do the number game just the two of us. Why not? We'll oh, see, shit. We'll see how close All I right. can get without Jamar here. <laughs> All right. Because I, I, I'm a fan of consistency. Damn it. All right. Let me scratch out last week's. So what, what range are you giving me? We're still doing one through ten? Yeah, since it's, you know, literally just you. I feel like it would have been funnier if you would have given me like a ridiculous number range just to make it harder for me to get close. Uh, nah, I wouldn't do that too. I just need to figure out how to write this backwards. I think I did it. Yeah, that looks right. If not, oh well. I tried. Um, The fact that you think putting Jamar on the bottom is a hate crime is itself a hate crime. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Hey! Had I not wow. done, if I didn't do the the random decimal points to be a jackass, I would have been right on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. See, we don't need yeah. Jamar. This is where the chemistry's at. Yes. <laughs> um. So, I went a little hog wild with some GameStop uh, store credit this past week oh uh nice. so when i got my ps5 we trade in uh one of the old ps4s and there's not really any games that i'm like i need right now uh and i still have quite a bit of credit left but i went around and they had some new figures because they gained all the game stops randomly got a huge restock yep like for months it's just been like oh it's the same like five mcfarland figures and you know what's left of the villains wave for the marvel legends and that's it but now they're to the point where they've got like a, a growing mound up near all yeah. of the things because they have too much. Uh, so, I was in one today and thought the exact same thing. It was very well stocked. Yeah, uh, it, it was borderline overstocked. I, I was like, I, I, I feel like I'm at like a, a mom and pop shop that doesn't have enough room. And I, and I know you're thinking of the exact one I, I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so the first thing I got, and I've been eyeballing this for a while, it's technically not a figure. Uh, but it is a statue. Um, what does that come out? I'm sorry, this is only figs. It is, but often we talk about everything but the figs. Uh, so I feel like it's fair. 
Um, so what people may not know is I enjoy, uh, granted I don't get to play anymore, D&D. I think it's a lot of fun, and I like some of the monsters and characters. So they had a statue of the gelatinous cube. It is literally oh, that's a cool. cube of like deadly gelatin that just absorbs and, and like, like, like melts. is he a skeleton inside? Yes, there's a skeleton inside. Um, you can see he's got his little his little boot hanging out there, sword up top, yeah. uh, shield coming out. There's also a treasure chest. There's a monster that's kind of leaking out, and then there's a bunch of like skulls and stuff on the rocks in the base. Oh, that's awesome! So I've been eyeballing I, that for I a while. Do not play D&D, and I don't have anything against it. I just don't like playing it. Like I've tried; it's that's not fair. for me. But that's okay. I like other like I like board games. Mm-hmm. It's too open for me. I that need, makes sense. Yeah, you you, you want I the need, structure. You need that rule set of this A B C D. You're done versus like being like, I, oh, yeah. you can do. A, B, C, A, B, F, G, X, Y, K, like whatever you want. Right. Um, I need to look at my DM right in the eyes and be like, tell me what to do, daddy. <laughs> that's, that's that's a different kind of dungeon master. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing that on purpose, but okay. There we go. <laughs> no, I was, I was. I was. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I was meant like, oh, shit. And it's like, oh, I've never actually played D&D then. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Whips and chains are, yeah. are much different and have yeah. different stats when you're playing on yeah. a piece of paper versus in real life. Uh, yeah. What jersey is Nate wearing? Is that your Dragon Ball jersey? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I went to a, I went to a baseball game today, so it didn't actually happen, unfortunately, because of weather. But I had to wear my jersey. Mm-hmm. And that's the same yeah. one that I, if I remember, it was either on weekly purchases or it was on the actual podcast. You said that you use that to seduce. Uh, 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 men or something like that you were like you want well, to turn ever... man's heart is to have a, a sexy dragon ball shirt yeah uh if you want to pick up men this is the ideal shirt so even like where we went to eat today the uh oh are we losing nate now is it about to become only michael this is this is going are you oh I, I, oh, I couldn't you, tell if you. Oh, oh no, you, back? that was you. Yeah, so welcome back. Uh, okay. Cause, yeah, no, because you just like I said something, and then I, you were just going. Yeah, because I literally and like, I thought you got to yeah today when we went to, out to eat, and then you just went super like robot oh, and disappeared. Hear it. And I was just oh, like, okay. oh man, is this about to become only Michael. Like this is real rough. Yeah. No, I was gonna say that when we went out to eat, the the waiter was very complimentary of my shirt, like yeah. very. So. Statistically yeah. speaking, oh, yeah, that when is I, the shirt you I need to pick up that. Yeah, I said that because I heard it. You didn't. I heard it because I said it. And that's when you were going like this, and I went, oh, he's just judging me. <laughs> or I'm being seduced by your shirt. That could be too. That could be too. Um, we're, what were we, uh, yeah, we were talking about action figures. Uh, yeah. So uh, a couple other, other things I got. So despite the fact that he's not here, so I probably shouldn't put him over, but I will. Uh, after... A month of a month of him having it before I sent him the actually it was really only like two weeks. Um, sent him the label, and then a month after that, I finally got my black and white Wolfman. Uh, so super excited. Uh, granted, by the time I got it, I could have bought it at both Target and Walmart multiple times, but it is what it is. I'm just excited to have it. I can't wait to get the black and white mummy, and hopefully the rest of the series in black and white as well. Um, the the black and white mummy does make me laugh because I. Here we go again. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, oh, he's making, he's coming back. Oh, it's slowly, it's coming. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> yeah, you were bending over to get something, and you just stayed there. Oh, oh my. Um, so yeah, you, you, we were talking about uh, the mummy. You thought it was funny for the black and white. I thought it was, yeah, just because the regular one is not that different. From yeah, it literally, the, you could not tell the difference if it wasn't for the gold ring or the accessories. But, yeah, I'm um, like, at that point, I'd want all the other accessories I have are in black and white, so I might as well just go all out. Um, yeah. So then I bought a uh, McFarland figure solely because of I had the store credit um, and because it's one that I kind of, I debated on and then passed on, but then GameStop had, so I fuck it. I got the Rebirth Batman. Nice. Because that is 
probably hands down one of my favorite costume designs. I just love the yellow around the bat and then the purple on the inside of the cape. Um, yeah. Uh, from there, I got two more things. Well, technically, yeah, no, three more things. Um, two more from GameStop. So they also got a bunch of new Marvel Legends, and despite the fact that we've been talking a lot of shit about Marvel Legends and getting a lot of views mm-hmm. because of it, I picked up the Lady Loki, just because I yeah. was like, oh, that looked really cool. It's a cool figure. Yep. Um, and then speaking of figures that looked really cool, and especially the head sculpt on this one, I picked up Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah. Because I, I yes. originally was like, oh, I don't need Marvel Legends, and then I was looking, I'm like, damn, that's a really good head sculpt, so like... It'll be a while before Moffex does and either of those two, so I was like, fuck it, I'll get them. Um, and the other thing I have is me and good old Podong did a trade. Uh, a few months ago, he painted some uh, Talon heads from Court of Owls for me because I was going to make some Mezco customs, then I got a Mezco. So then he had a Moffex head, and we traded head for head, so I got this little Talon head. Oh, nice. So... Just need to hunt down a body. I think I'm gonna get the uh, the Dark Knight, or not Dark Knight, the Batman Begins, uh, Rachel Ghoul, to use as the base body for that. And just oh yeah, that would look really good. Mm-hmm. Um, talk more about how Hasbro sucks and we don't like Marvel Legends price increases. That was your best work so far. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, there's sixteen thousand people who agree with you apparently. Uh, <laughs> Granted, couldn't recreate yeah. that magic if we tried. That's our bread and butter. Yeah. We, we, we tried to ride that coattails and only got 2,000 the next week. So it was, it was fun while it lasted. But it does 100% prove that it, the algorithm decides everything. Because that, aside from views, that video has the exact same statistics as every other video we have. Same click-through rate, same watch time like percentage. All of that was pushed to like 200,000 people. Our other videos don't even get pushed to like 20,000 people. So here we are. Um, Speaking of Marvel, my wife likes a certain character a lot. So do I. So I ended up ordering the hot toys of it. I'm going to assume Loki is my guess on that. Um, Captain America. Is there any like Captain Americas that are currently available? Because I assume he probably ordered it like from Sideshow or something. Well, currently available would oh. be the uh, end game. Oh, true. Uh, no, we were both wrong. Moon Knight. Which, oh. What, Moon Knight or Mister Knight? Because I feel like those are. I don't super... think they've announced anything for that yet. Oh, uh, I feel like Mister Knight would be the one I'd want, just because I don't know. He, he looks cooler, and I, yeah, I really, I really like Steven. Um, but that's all I got. So, what what you got for us? Okay, so. I, I talked, well, you know what? I'm not even going to promise anything for next week because I'm not really good at follow through on that. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened so, to that uh, grill piece? <laughs> it, it, it's over there. It's just not set up. Um, but uh, I, I picked up quite a few things today, but I haven't really even got a chance to go through them. And I was kind of rushed for time because, again, I wasn't going to be here tonight. Mm-hmm. And, Oh, here i am and your, and your internet's hell-bent on uh making you yeah here. yeah it's sabotaging me but whatever but i got a box from big bad toy store so i thought instead of anything else i would open this because i've done that before and it's fun it's i forget what's in it yeah that's the one thing like i i truly am impressed with anyone who does the pile of loot because i am an impatient child and i could yeah. not wait let alone then remember what all's coming well i will say i shipped this on friday that's impressive right did For you do bucks? like did you do ground or did you do the four dollar i did four dollar and like the last time i had one sent it took like a week and a half like it's very inconsistent I think I, part of it, it too, is like how long it processes. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I don't, I don't know the key to that because I've had ones where I've gotten less stuff shipped and it took longer to process. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I did this like in the middle of the night. My like Thursday, like Thursday night, but Friday morning. My best guess is one of two things: either a, it is have to do with the processing and the fact that with the pile of loot, in theory, they should have all your stuff set aside already. So mm-hmm. there's less like hunting it. They just do go you to the think? Section. 
Do you think they literally pull it and like put it in like a pile? I feel like they wouldn't that take up like so much space. In theory, it would take up the same amount of space. You just have to have a designated space for it. Because, but I feel like it would save them the headaches and in, in the customer service aspect of it. Because if they don't and they accidentally sell it after they've already taken your money, I mean, yeah, they give you back your money, so technically no harm, no foul. But then they've you know potentially lost a customer who's like, well, why would I buy from you if you're going to sell my stuff anyway? Yeah, because they they push that I, pile of loot thing a lot. Like I just right. got, I get ads all the time. But I could see I could see it being a pretty. Uh, specific inventory kind of system where they actually have a few more than what they're listing Mm -hmm. so they don't run into that mistake maybe possibly i don't know i just in my head yeah it all sits somewhere but then i'm also like then that means somebody has to go and get my my shit that i cancel when it comes in stock Mm -hmm. and like it's like mother takes it off the pile puts it on his (laughs) cart he has to drive it back can you cancel stuff once it's been added to your pile oh yeah oh i didn't know that I assume that yeah, once once it's in your pile, it's the yep. same as if they shipped it. Because I've tried to stop them from shipping me things before. And they're like, oh, sorry, it's already been processed. And then now, I'm just... If you, if you have everything go to your pile of loot. This is, mm-hmm. a, this is a commercial for a Big Bad Toy Store. So, you know, yes. BigBadToyStore.com. Pay us. Um, it, hits your, it hits your pile and you can immediately cancel it if you want to. If uh, I try not to, unless it's something that's really, you know, whatever. But... Um, so if it if you cancel it within seven days, you get your money back. If it's more than seven days, it goes towards store credit. Okay. So I've also intentionally canceled some things. Like I, I decided I didn't really want it. And then I'm like, you know what? I'll just cancel it. And it's been like a couple weeks or whatever. And it's kind of nice having that store credit there because then the next it, time something next comes thing. in. Mm-hmm. Because you've already, like, I've already paid for it. So it's like. Yeah. So it's a little less of a, a hassle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's how I do it. I use pile of loot. Oh. I wait until the last day because the toys are just going to go unopened into my closet anyway. That's fair. Yeah, I can't do that because I do want to. All right. So this, okay. This is, this is big. You want to take a guess? Um, Transformer. No. Mm. Give you a hint. Super 7. Mumra. Yep. I'll tell you right now, the only reason yeah. I, I know that is because uh, Cincy uh, posted his toy haul this week, yeah. and he got it in, it, and he's like, this is a big boy, and he was, like, showing it compared to the others. I'm like, yep, that's, that's 100% what it is. Yeah, so this this wave was a little expensive, more expensive because of him. Mm-hmm. He, was, he was more. Um, oh, my God, I got to tell you how relieved I was to see that the next wave is all boy color repaint. Mm-hmm. So you can take a break. <laughs> oh yeah. So I don't. I got. I think I got like one more wave, and then I get some freedom for a while. Not that I, you know, these have been like consistent. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they they've just been very plentiful because everything is catching up. So mm-hmm. I swear I just got the last wave like just a couple weeks ago. Once again in that awesome box though. This at this size does look super sexy. Yeah. Oh, the reveal. Oh, yeah. Man. Look at that. That big beefy Look boy. Look at that. So, obviously, I'm, I'm literally just opening this for the first time, so I didn't get a chance to open it. But I, this guy may have to make a reappearance next week if I get it opened. Because I'm with that because I want to see that cape. Yeah. And I love Little Mumra, like the, the old man version. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Oh. Like it's, it's kind of awesome cloth tape, but yeah, show that artwork up. So, but yeah, so can't wait. Love Mumra, he's awesome. So glad to have him. Okay. All right, Pumira, do you want to see them? Yeah, it's what Only Figs okay. is about, baby. Show That's it off. That's kind of what I thought, but. You know. Be a real boring show for like here's the box. We're not Hasbro. Well, <laughs> it, I'll tell you though, with today's live stream uh, or whatever they did, I only saw the finished pictures. Mm-hmm. You know, seeing the amazing Bagman and the um, 
West Coast Avengers War Machine. So, I mean, that just kind of gives me hope because they're keeping the plastic bubbles on yeah. the the retro style. So. It, it also felt like a please forgive us uh, live stream because it was 90% just like that kind of stuff. And then they yeah. had that one like three pack uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So here is Pumira. So I, I didn't have any of the Mattel ones. Mm -hmm. So I do know that they fixed uh, Pumira. So Pumira was, I just like saying Pumira. I don't, dirty. When you say fixed and they're all cats, I'm assuming like they took them to the vet and got there. Like... <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> uh, she had height issues. So I don't know if she was too tall or too short. I'm assuming too tall. So they fixed her height. And so she's more correct. On like the Mattel one was too tall or okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if maybe they had the prototype and it was too tall and they fixed it. No, like it the Mattel like... one. So yeah, this was actually, I think in the first wave that Mattel originally released. So, uh, which is weird because she's not a, like, she was a season two character. Mm -hmm. So she came into the show late along with Lynx. Um, but, so she's not, like, super important. But, like, yeah, she was out early in the Mattel line. And then she was, like, kind of incorrect. So, uh, for anyone who is interested in these at all, I will say um, now would be a good time to snag them, especially Mumra. The LJN one that's coming out, the Toy Colors, mm -hmm. is a all-new sculpt because they no longer have access to the original Mattel tooling. Oh. So, or something like that. I don't know. But the weird thing is Mattel didn't make that one, I don't think. Now I'm getting confused by what somebody told me. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I well, mean, you should buy it if you want it. I, I'm just confused because I didn't know that they were using the Mattel tooling until two seconds uh, ago. They, they did. They did use them in, for the ones that they made. So, yeah. And they had access to some of the Masters stuff for a while, too. So, I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they're not talking or not friends. They're on a break. Oh, I did. Tigra, one of the other big originals. So, we only have one more to go for the original crew, which would be Chitara, which is supposedly on the water. So, I do have that one still waiting for me. Because that one was supposed to be in wave three and instead of delaying the whole wave they just mm -hmm. delayed through makes sense so, so did yeah. she get fixed too uh, I don't... <laughs> but like I, I was re-watching the show I forgot I totally forgot that like lion -O was originally the same age as Wily Kit and Wily Cat and like something malfunctioned in his sleep chamber and he aged oh. but he has the mind of like a, a 12 year old oh that's weird i forgot that and like later on they don't really talk about that as much because like you know because he's a grown man but plus i yeah. assume that like he he's just banging all the other like cat ladies so right that but makes he's only that, like 12 that makes that real yeah. problematic yeah it does it really does Ooh, these are on their tight Ooh. oh you can't get that one I out can't. <laughs> i can't get that one's gonna open damn there we go. Okay. Oh. Ah. Tiger. Oh, I not gonna lie. I thought Tiger was gonna be a lady cat. Oh no! Nope. Just because Chitara is like, a lady cat. Just because it had the, the like the gra at the end. Oh yeah. Okay. I figured yeah, all no, the dudes Tiger's... had O's and the ladies had A's. I thought that was like a yeah. a shtick. Huh. I didn't even think about that, but no. I don't think there's any more ladies, though. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I vaguely remember, like, seeing Thundercats as a kid, but I was never, like, a fan of it to the point where I watched it regularly. Right. All right. All right. Let's do the last Thundercats. I can't so stop it. Uh, I can't stop staring at that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on your wall and thinking about what we're going to hopefully get maybe yeah. early next year that would oh, be nice that would be nice if it gets there next, next year I need to do that and I need at that point then I'll need Omega Shenron too yeah alright uh, so if anybody's never had a Super 7 figure I mean they they're deluxe. I mean, they're, the price point is not. Yeah, it's expensive, but 
So you're not you paying for a Marvel for Legends figure and, and paying 50 bucks for it. You're getting like, right. some, you know, a lot yeah, nicer. Well, you're paying almost 30. Yeah. And you don't and you don't get that fancy of a box. Yeah, or that many box accessories. Inside a box inside of a box. Yeah. Right? Like you're talking about like so, a company that's wasting packaging. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty cool so, looking. Groon. Yeah, he's awesome. And let's see here. You can't see it in the package cuz it's like back here. But um, he was a former Thundercat, so okay. he has an uh, alternate chess piece armor that has the Thundercat's logo on it. So does his? Oh, I'm assuming those are teeth. It looks like it's a handlebar mustache. Yeah, I was no, it's the teeth. teeth decide like if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Um, I, I think I want to say there's an episode where he loses the tooth when he get yeah because when he's a Thundercat he, he has both. And then when he, like, I forget, I haven't got to that episode, um, but I think that's what happens, is there's a big fight between him and Jaga. I think it's Jaga, because it's like a flashback. I could probably read the back. Groon was once a Thundercat, but he became contemptuous of the Thundarians as he was sworn to protect and he betrayed them. Vanquished by Jaga in an epic battle and exiled, he came to Third Earth and terrorized its inhabitants. When Groon died, spoilers, his tomb was magically sealed to imprison his malevolent spirit. Creed in the present, Groon ferociously assaulted the Thundercats since he was once again defeated by Jaga in ghostly combat. Man, that's some, some fucking so, elaborate storytelling for a kid's show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, uh, not a kid's show, but in my quest for total uh, change bot nerddom, I've been reading the Marvel run of the comics oh, okay. from the 80s. And I've now been, because there was another, uh, there was a Marvel UK, mm -hmm. Transformers UK story that came out in the UK, duh, uh, weekly. And it was half of a Marvel issue each and then a bunch of other stuff. But it came out weekly. So, but then they also did their own original material in between the US stuff. And the one I'm reading right now, which is called Target 2006, I'm like, this was for children like british stuff even for kids is pretty highbrow oh, yeah. like that's the only country like you look at like how popular doctor who was especially in the past and it was literally a show about an old guy going and doing things that are pretty boring and british kids loved it yeah they loved it meanwhile we're like let's watch some people in jumpsuits do cool poses and fight monsters <laughs> yep <laughs> exactly all right so like i got my master verse tila okay so it's weird this this one these have been trickling in so like i think last time um i had a he-man he's still around here somewhere yeah I think you had, um, what, savage the he barbarian he-man yeah. i had savage he-man but yeah that was a tart uh two pack and then but yeah there was that one all right i'm gonna show this i got two more things here um one you're going to be interested in, the other one you're not going to give keep shits about. I'm excited to see both now. Yeah. Which one, which one do you want to see? Uh, it should surprise me. I'll guess which one I give a shit about. Okay. Touche. <laughs> yeah. So this is the 2.0 Krillin. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm, although. I can't pronounce the way you're supposed to say it in Japanese, but because uh, the L's sound like R's and it's a whole thing. But I have, I actually have the 1.0. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I kind of went off on a tangent because his name is spelled different in the Japanese as well. Like the Japanese translate. Never mind. I'm just going to. That's okay. I mean, on, on the Fat Boo uh, packaging, they literally spell it B-O-O -O instead of B-U-U -U, like they do in the yeah. States. And I thought that was weird. First, I was like, bro, are you selling me a bootleg? He's like, oh, no, that's just, that's that's how it is in, Jap in, in Japan. I'm like, oh, then why the fuck did we put U's? <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, that's like – I don't know if the Gokus all do it now, but all the old Gokus used to actually say sun yeah, on they, them. Yeah, they still say sun. Uh, they, some of them used to say have sun and then they had it spelled – because isn't it spelled G-O-U-K-U? -U? Yep. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, G-O-K-O-U. That's what it is, is yeah. how they have it mm -hmm. on their, their boxes. Yeah, it's goofy. So, but yeah. 
versions now. So this will be cool to compare um, six years from now when I open this. So I'm not gonna lie, I almost bought him just for the destructive disc, just because it looked so cool. I mean, he, well, shit. I mean, he is in the Boo saga, but not looking like this. Yeah. Yeah. Never he, mind. He's got that weird fucking bull cut. Yeah. But hey, look. Hey, there you go. I've seen also people, because he comes with some cool uh, facial expressions that you can put him with the normal Android 18, too. Well, that came with the original Android 18. Like, well, the kissy face one, when she leans down and kisses him, Mm -hmm. and he freaks out. That's only in the original version of Android 18. And that that sucks, because I, yeah, I have the event exclusive. Oh no! Wait, there is a well. There is a pretty surprise. One. I say there's one. So in I guess that I work. think I think here. people are just using that one as a proxy. Cause I don't yeah. know if the old one will fit on the the new body. Not a, probably not on this. Yeah, probably not. Because even the skin tone probably like, wouldn't match. Because they used to be a lot more like have like a reddish hue to them. On yep. the Older ones. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So, but cool. I'm excited. Excited. I mean, I am excited though. Because it's a cool character. All right. So then the next thing here, I want to open this up a little bit. Uh, I saw that at GameStop, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck it is. You saw this at GameStop? Yeah, I literally was like, oh, I bet this is something Nate's probably going to buy. And then I was looking and trying to see, and I'm like holding up to the light like it's a fucking, like one of those uh, old like visor toys where you put the little reel in, you pull the trigger, and it like changes the picture. And I couldn't figure out what yeah. the hell it was. Perfect. So... Days like that. So this is the. This is awesome. This is way cooler than I thought. Okay. So this is the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege. It's called the Refractor Reconnaissance Team. The Reflector. So let me let me explain this a little bit. Yeah, so this I have no looks clue like what's going on right a now. camera. Yeah, so this is look looks like a okay, camera. Okay, now it looks like more like, like a an camera. old it style. Did not, it did not look like that when yeah. you first held it up. Yeah, so let me try to. It's still in the plastic. Got some Peter Parker okay. vibes going. Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely, because this was part of. So the original version that this was based on was part of the micro change line which was like robots transforming into like regular household materials and shit. Um, And so it was originally scheduled for import for the first run year of Transformers, but then Hasbro canceled it for whatever reason. Even though they put him in the cartoon that first year, Mm -hmm. but the weird thing was he only looked like one of the robots because there's actually three in here. Oh, okay. That make up this camera. Which makes sense so, it looks like it's made of like three different colors. Yes, yes. So when they released Reflector or Refractor for the War for Cybertron line, they did the cartoon colors. He was just purple, and if you wanted to, you could buy three of those, and they would be like the ones in the cartoon. Mm-hmm. Well, after Hasbro canceled the original toy, they offered it as a mail away in 1986. So this is now that re- you know that regular Refractor toy in the colors of the original version, which is three different colors, which one is blue, one is red, and one is black. And I think it's black or maybe it's purple. And they actually have their three different names, which one is, and it's Spyglass. Yeah. Viewfinder, Spyglass, and Spectro. So, and so, yeah, these are part, these detach and they become three different robots. Okay. So, yeah. And then it's, I'm going to do that cool Joker. They, oh, that the, I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to do that Joker pose. <laughs> That's from the cover. Yeah, it just knowing what he's taking pictures of, I don't know. <laughs> oh man. So that's it. Sweet. So that's it. At least yeah, now I know what was in that box thing. because I was I was really trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was not easy to tell what it was. So I'm glad you knew what it was yep. to, enough to buy it. Yep, yep. I ordered it. I was super pumped that they had it. Um, I didn't know GameStop was going to get it. Or I just waited. Got it. But 
uh, uh, in Cedar. So, um, but yeah, I'm very excited for this. So, uh, let's see. Well, it's oh, back to the Krillin uh, pronunciation. Well, it's not R slash L or similar. It's that there's a character that has a sound that's like halfway between both, apparently. Oh, okay. Um, also, Jake said, uh, I wouldn't call Mr. Blobby highbrow, but sure. Mr. Blobby. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, that must be a British thing. Okay, because I was like, yeah, you, you talked about Doctor Who, so well, unless I missed something. I mean, their humor is also really stupid sometimes, so I can see oh, yeah. some funny stuff. I mean, look they at... They could uh, be really dumb. What was it? It's uh, the, the, the Boosh... The Mighty Boosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just f- fucking stupid. It's hilarious, but stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mr. Blobby is an older British show uh, creature that was low-key terrifying. You know, I have heard of that because I watched Taskmaster, and I think Greg Davies, the the host, uh, has talked about that before. And I never, I didn't know what it was then, so uh, it doesn't surprise me that it didn't catch me this time. What's that? Forgot this came inside the uh, package. Um, I forget what these are called, but they're from the Transformers cartoon. Does your your camera guy have a, a virus? Because that looks like something that you'd see like in an old '90s TV show or even '80s TV show, where they're like, "This is what a computer virus looks like." Let's yeah. Let's go inside the computer and fight it. Yeah, he actually sits on top of the camera. Oh, that's oh, he's like the you could put him on the top of the the Flash, and he yeah. could be like the spark. Yeah. Just Dr. Mario but kill I, those things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's funny. Exactly. All right. Well, I hate to disappoint anybody, but, you know, it, it's a two-man show, so it's naturally going to go a little shorter than when there's three of us. Uh, but, as always, make sure to follow us here on Twitch. Go check out youtube.com forward slash modern toy fair. Give us a subscribe there. You definitely want to make sure to check out this week's episode on Friday to see Nate's Smash or Pass Masters of the Universe edition. Uh, And if you want to know more about that, you're going to have to wait and see and watch the video. Uh, So check that out. Check us out Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. Uh, You can check out. um, I probably shouldn't pimp his stuff out, but you know what? I'm going to anyway. Check Jamar out. Jamar underscore games. uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Jamar underscore games. He occasionally streams. You can check out his YouTube channel, uh, Why Are You a Gamer, where he's got some clips and eventually we'll put up the season one of his podcast. And if you're impatient, go listen to season one of his podcast on all major podcast platforms. And uh, Nate, what you got for us this week? You know, I had something. I had a great new podcast lined up, but I totally forgot what it was. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Oh, well, all right. This sounds like this is becoming an ad for like Alzheimer's. <laughs> Yeah, probably. (laughs) All right. Well, that's going to be it for this week. So we will see you next week. Same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.